All right, here we go. Come on with it now. The storytelling time with Sappy Adventures. <laughs> hey, I guess I don't say this enough. Hey, I know I, I'll be watching a lot of YouTube stuff, and first thing they say is, you know, please hit the like button over there. Subscribe and comment. I love to hear from you guys. You know, even though I be acting silly, man, you know, I still love to hear from you. That's a, I guess that's the YouTube way. But please comment and like. And don't forget to share. But let's tell you a story about when I was a kid. And I got terrorized by a great Dane. My goodness the damn gracious. Well, growing up, we was down there in the country, down there in Louisville. And I forget, what is that, the police? I forget the man's name that live at the very bottom of our street. We lived on a dead end street. Well, the guy had a, a Great Dane. And I mean, if y'all know anything about a Great Dane, that sucker was about as tall as I was at the time. And he barked and, and did all that growling and carrying on. You know how them dogs make your dang them look. And I'm going to tell you something. the dogs. Especially dogs we don't know. Especially dogs damn near six foot damn tall when he stand up on his paws on his back legs. That's he probably seven foot tall when he stand up on there. But anyway, when we walked down to the bus station, the dog would terrorize us trying to get on the bus. The dog would chase us up the daggum hill trying to get down the hill, you know, trying to get home off the damn bus. He just a bully, man. Oh, oh, we stopping right here. Well, I was going to go that way. But I guess I will not go that way. It's about 6.23. And uh, I am off tonight. And me and my buddy, old Bob Old Strick, we're going to do some upgrades. Do some maintenance on this bike. But uh, back to the story of the Great Dane. Well, it would terrorize us getting on the bus, off the bus. If he wanted to walk down to the store, we had to cross his pass. And it would terrorize us then, too. I mean, it was just a damn good bully dog. That thing was bully. And my buddy, he had pulled up. He had one of them golf cars. You know, them old golf cars and kids was getting their damn teeth knocked in and running up under cars and, and all kind of dangerous stuff. The, the fun stuff we did when we was kids. That stuff now they think is dangerous, but we used to do it as kids, and it was a lot of fun. Well, I said, man, let me take that dog on golf cart for a little spin. Well, here I'm going down the road down there, and here go that damn bully-ass Great Dane. He's just looking at me like he's he just ready to do something. I said, that old jackass Great Dane, I'm going to teach him something. Well, I'm going down through there. I mean, I'm, I mean, we almost playing the game of chicken. If y'all know what that game is, playing chicken, we playing the game of chicken. I'm, I'm headed towards him, and he's running towards me. I'm just looking at him like, yeah, bring it on, buddy. And what, what my intention was, when I got real close to him, I was going to snatch the daggum car in front of him and spin out and kick rocks all over him and carry it on. Well, me, I'm going down there, boy. I got my plan made out. You hear me? As soon as I got down there, I'm getting ready to kick that thing to the right and spin out on him. And once I kicked to the right, damn it, if he didn't kick to the left with me, I said, oh, crap. Man, I went up under that dog on Great Dane. Next thing you know, he's in my damn lap. That damn Great Dane's in my lap. He's just, arf, 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 you know, arf, 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 biting and barking and shit at my ass. You know, I, oh, 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 get off of me, get off of me. That damn dog didn't know what was going on. He was sliding around. I was fighting his ass trying to get him off the damn golf cart. And finally, I damn swung around again, and he rose off the damn golf cart. And he goes a damn and yapping, yap, 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 you know. And I'm like, my goodness, that damn big old heavy-ass, tall-ass, long-legged dog was all in my lap. My buddy said, what in the world was you trying to do? I said, I was trying to do a damn Dukes of Hazard on him and sling some damn rocks on his ass. Because every time we come down here, he always terrorizes us. But when I cut to the daggum left, he cut with me. And next thing you know, he's in my damn lap. 
I said, Lord have mercy. I won't do that no damn more. But that broke that damn great day. And every time he seen me coming, he daggone tuck tail and he go the other way. I guess I broke him from that crap because that doggone dog, man, he used to daggone bully us, man, every chance he got. I guess if he smelled fear, they say if dogs feel or smell fear, they're daggone, uh, they get real aggressive. But anyway, I don't fool with no dogs. I damn so don't fool with no dogs damn near six foot damn seven and barking and got a damn bass of uh, all that bass in his voice like he ready to do something. But well, that's one of my dog stories. But let me put my disclaimer in there. There was no dogs injured or hurt. And what I mean by dogs, I mean Great Dane dogs or Slappy dogs was hurt in that process. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.